A recent study from the World Health Organization found that more than 90 percent of the world's children are breathing toxic air, which is creating a public health time bomb. RT's Rachel Blevins is in the RT American newsroom. She's been following this story for us. Pretty scary news for everyone here, Rachel. Absolutely. So the World Health Organization is now warning that more than 1.8 billion children are breathing toxic air and the dangerous impact it is having on their overall health could have devastating consequences. This study was published leading up to the organization's first ever global conference on air pollution and health and it looked at the impact of polluted air on children. It found that in 2016 alone more than 600 100,000 children died from acute lower respiratory infections caused by polluted air. Every day, now, the moment we are talking, almost 93% of the children worldwide are breathing toxic air. And this has terrible health consequences. Not only the fact that 600,000 of them die every year because of lower respiratory infections. The organization also found that polluted air is having a devastating impact on pregnant mothers and their babies by causing premature births and impacting brain development and cognitive abilities. If a pregnant woman is exposed to air pollution, then the risk of having a preterm birth is very high. In addition to that, the, the baby will be on a very small weight. If you are exposed to air pollution, prenatal or postnatal, then the risk of having problems with the development of your brain is very important. We know that the children will have a problem with their neuro and cognitive development. The study found that even at lower levels, polluted air is damaging children's lung function. And because children breathe more rapidly than adults, they are absorbing more of the polluted air around them and it is putting them at a greater risk for chronic diseases such as cardiovascular disease later in life. The devastating health impacts of polluted air are also being highlighted in Asia after a report from the United Nations found that every year more than 4 million people die in the Asia-Pacific region from health problems related to air pollution. As a result, the UN is attempting to implement 25 air pollution measures that they claim will save millions of lives every year. If these 25 measures are all implemented, then we can have a big reduction in the impact of uh, small particles on human health, um, leading to uh, between seven eight hundred thousand fewer deaths um, and a, an increase in the number of people experiencing clean air in Asia from um, uh, about uh, a third of a, a, a billion to a billion people. The World Health Organization concluded that air pollution is one of the leading threats to child health, accounting for almost one in ten deaths in children under five years of age. This worldwide problem has left many wondering if we can stop this public health time bomb before it is too late. In Washington, Rachel Blevins, RT. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe to never stop questioning more.